Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. As you might know, I'm an ex-competitive chess player. I used to play chess on a semi-high level when I was young. Got the FM title and the ELO around 2300. Uh, played a lot from when I was a young boy until around 20. I wanted to take this video and talk about things that you as a tennis player can learn from chess that you can kind of bring in some strategical thinking into your tennis game and hopefully win more matches. And these are some things I think about a lot because I've obviously grew up playing both chess and tennis and it's probably helped in some aspects of it. So what can tennis players learn from chess? And number one, anticipating your opponent's shots really getting an understanding of what your opponent's game plan, playing style, strategy is, and learning to kind of foresee his shots. That's pretty much what you do in chess. You're trying to plan for your opponent's moves ahead of time. So you're trying to always counter your opponent's plans and implement your own. And you can approach tennis in the same way. And I notice a lot of players, myself included over the years, have uh, just experienced a tennis match similar to a car accident so you're just you know walking out oh i won i did this or oh i lost what happened and it went really quickly because you're nervous you're stressed and so on so this part of being more strategical around your tennis uh, this kind of thinking is is going to help you win more matches i'm sure so anticipating your opponent's shots is a very very good thing to do obviously and that's something you can train by watching a lot of tennis and analyzing your opponent and so on. And that's where we get into tip number two. Which it's actually analyzing your own game and your opponent's matches if possible. Maybe you're not playing on that level that you have access to footage of your opponent, but maybe you've seen him play or her play in various club matches, whatever the level you're playing at. Top players in tennis always watch their opponent's matches. They have coaches scout their opponent's matches. They watch their own matches to try to analyze what is going on, what are some patterns I'm implementing, what do I need to improve, where are some issues in my game that I need to adapt for the next game, how can I take advantage of my opponent's pattern of play or game style. This is something that they do all the time and they have analysts and coaches and help to do that on the highest level. So it's something we can think about and that's why I always recommend you to record yourself playing because you're going to have a lot more uh, data and footage to learn from. Number three, play with a clear strategy, have a game plan. Is your opponent a serve and volley player? Does he have a weak backhand? Do you need to attack it with a high topspin shot? Or do you need to stretch him wide and then go for the, the short angle? These things are important. Having a strategy and planning for your match. Maybe you will go down love three. What should you do in that case? Settle yourself. Don't let the match run away from you or your opponent kind of out think you and outsmart you with his or her strategy. So that's important that you have a clear game plan but you're also able to adapt it and we'll get to that. Uh, so number four is adapting to your opponent because you might have the best plan in the world. You might wanna, you might implement it to almost to perfection, but your opponent is going to figure it out maybe that this is what you're doing, this is your strategy, and he's gonna counter with his own strategy, his own plan. And then you need to be aware of that take some time and then adapt to your opponent's strategies. That's where the chess playing comes in. You're, you're countering your opponent's plan with your own and he's countering you and so on, on kind of a seesaw. And the person who's best at implementing their own plan while counteracting your opponent's plan, that's gonna be the most successful player. So it's important to adapt to your opponent and, and keep adapting your game plan to what's happening in the match. Number five, taking time to think. Don't let the match run away from you. I said that before, but it's important to take some time between points, between games, and between sets to understand where's this match going? What is the pattern? What's the trend? How do I reverse the trend? How do I ride this uh, success now that's happening in the match? I'm, I'm playing well, I'm up 5-1. How do I keep this going? How do I not let down in the second set, which is very common that you have a letdown in the second set after playing a fantastic first. So it's important to kind of be aware of where the match is going, where are the patterns, what's the strategy from your opponent and so on. And, you know, learning to adapt and planning a strategy. 
So these are kind of five pretty logical tips that you can implement in your own tennis playing, especially around match play, obviously. Understanding your opponent's plans, formulating your own strategy, thinking about your strategy and adapting your game to your opponent so it's most uncomfortable for him or her to play against you. All these kind of things are very common in chess. That's how we play chess games and prepare for for chess competitions and chess matches and so on and these things can be very well integrated also in tennis it's a strategical game as well tennis but you're just running around more than in chess where you're sitting down but there are many uh, similarities in between these two games and there's even a chess tennis uh, world championship at least there were a few years ago uh, where you combine the sports and there's some good players on both sides that can combine both chess and tennis. So I hope you found something useful from this chess slash tennis video. Uh, there's definitely things you can implement from other sports and other disciplines into your tennis and have more success on the tennis court. Uh, please support my work by checking out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash tennis nerd, or by buying something from my affiliates. The links are in the description. Please also subscribe to the channel and tell your tennis friends. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.